Good morning, little chef. Welcome to day 38 of working as a chef on a yacht. I was lucky enough to get all of this fresh fruit from the grocery store. The crew actually watched the supply boat coming into Georgetown. And that's our sign to get to the grocery store fast. Once that supply boat comes in, we have to wait about eight hours for them to stock the shelves, and that is the prime time to go. And even though this produce just got to the island, there's a good chance that it's not gonna be in perfect condition. It takes a good amount of time for these supply boats to get down to these remote islands. So not only does that affect the quality of the food, but it also affects the price of the food. Thankfully, all of the fruit looked amazing, so I picked up as much as I could, and I'm gonna use it throughout this whole week. We now have seven guests on board, and they requested for breakfast buffets. So with all this fruit, I'm gonna try to make a beautiful fruit platter every single morning. Today, I'm decorating the platter with dragon fruit, star fruit, kiwi, strawberries, and mangoes. In addition to the fruit platter, I'm serving a frittata that I prepped yesterday with eggs, ham, and cheese. I'm also making a build your own acai bowl. I made the acai base in the Ninja Creamy, and then I put out all of these fun toppings like granola, shredded coconut, and almond butter for the guests to fix their own acai bowls. The last thing that I'm putting on the breakfast buffet is coconut bread. Coconut bread is iconic in the Bahamas. And this bread is fresh straight from the island. Whenever we get a fresh loaf, I am having it for breakfast every single morning for the next three days. I like to toast mine up until it's golden brown and add a little bit of butter and it is remarkable. I set up the buffet and breakfast is served. Breakfast ended up on the floor of this yacht this morning. We left the marina early this morning and tried to have breakfast while underway. And we didn't know it was gonna be this rough. I always get comments asking if I get seasick and the answer is no, thankfully. I can do boats, roller coasters, cars, planes, but the only thing I can't handle are trains. One time I took a 16 hour train ride and I was feeling nauseous. But this yacht could be rocking and rolling and I'll be unfazed. When our guests get seasick, we suggest that they head to the upper deck, look out on the horizon and get the wind in their face. And if that doesn't help, I'll cut up a lemon wedge and have them suck on it. Even though the seas are rough, I still need to be in the galley preparing food for these guests. When we have days where we're underway, I like to try to prepare everything the day before while we're anchored or in a marina. But there are some things that have to be made fresh to keep their integrity. For lunch today, I'm making poke. And I'm making three different kinds so all of our guests are happy. We're doing shrimp, seared tuna, and raw salmon. This set of guests requested family-style meals for lunch and dinner, so everything's gonna be plated on a beautiful platter. I made some spicy mayo just by combining mayonnaise and sriracha, and I also made some eel sauce. I crusted my tuna with sesame seeds, sliced it up, and take a look at how rocky it is. When we're underway, I like to be in bare feet because my toes will help grip the ground. For the poke platters, I put down some alfalfa sprouts, my fish, jalapenos, radishes, shredded carrots, eel sauce, spicy mayo, and last but not least, caviar. We just anchored and the guests are itching to get to the beach. They're already in their bathing suits, so we're gonna have lunch on the upper deck today. The guests love to finish their meals with a sweet treat and I've been trying to think of a light and refreshing and healthy dessert. I've seen so many videos on these healthy Sour Patch grapes, so we're gonna test them out. It's giving summertime vibes and that's exactly what we're wanting when we're on a yacht. I don't have fresh grapes, but I do have frozen grapes and I think that's an even better idea. While the guests are enjoying lunch on the upper deck, 
I'm in the galley working on my frozen Sour Patch grapes. I'll pour my frozen grapes into a bowl and add a ton of lime juice. Since these grapes are frozen, when I added the lime juice, it stuck onto the grapes and it froze solid. So I just had to continue mixing until it was evenly coated. I tested one and it wasn't sour enough, so I added some more lime juice. The last step is to put some granulated sugar on top. I did one with regular sugar and a smaller bowl. For a person with a dietary restriction, I did artificial sweetener. I was so surprised with how these turned out. They were delicious and I'm gonna be bringing this recipe back home with me. After I cleaned up the galley from lunch, the crew sat down and had their lunch and that's usually when I get the midday sleepies. So I made myself a little shot of espresso because there's still a lot to do. I went ahead and got started on breakfast prep for tomorrow. I'm just making a little blueberry and almond parfait. Again, the more I can prep ahead of time, the better. Especially for breakfast, since I am not a morning person. In my freezers, I still had a whole bunch of pita, so I wanted to try to use those up. I decided to go with pita pizzas for cocktail hour. Of course, we're gonna class it up a bit, but I remember making this with my brother when I was a kid. It was one of our go-to late night snacks. We would run downstairs, grab ourselves a little pita, put some cheese, tomato sauce on it, and put it in the toaster oven. These definitely brought back some good memories. To make these a bit fancier for a yacht cocktail hour, I'm adding some mushrooms and goat cheese. I'll bake these pita pizzas off in the oven until they're golden brown and bubbly, slice them in half, and serve them on a platter with balsamic glaze. And for the cocktail for tonight, we're doing Aperol Spritz. I had about a third of a bottle of Aperol, so I added some Prosecco and sparkling water into the bottle itself. That way I can bring up the bottle pre-mixed in a bucket of ice so they could pour their own. The guests were up at the bow of the boat, so I brought up the pita pizzas and Aperol spritz for cocktail hour. While the guests were on the bow enjoying their appetizers and drinks, I was in the galley preparing dinner. Tonight I'm making seared steak, sauteed spinach, a nice big salad, and mashed potatoes. If you're enjoying this channel, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. and for dessert, Oreo truffles. After dinner service and cleaning up the galley, I made myself a plate. I hope you enjoyed watching. Bye, little chef.